So good morning, everyone. And uh, today, let's uh, uh, let's continue with our IELTS uh, teacher training, mastering the contents, uh, speaking part two, uh, focusing on fluency and coherence. Now, for IELTS uh, speaking part two, there are questions that ask us about process and sequencing of events. Now, at the end of this training, uh, the candidate can demonstrate the methods on how to extend the answer, use the phrases to expand the answer, and speak for at least two minutes in task to IELTS speaking. Now, in IELTS speaking part two, you are, uh, I mean, the candidate uh, is, is expected to extend their talk. That means uh, they have to have an opening points and conclusion for their speaking part. So um, uh, for IELTS speaking part two, there are questions that ask you to uh, describe a process. So for example, here, uh, the process of uh, process of um, preparing a meal, for example. Now, um, these uh, this is one of the most uh, difficult uh, types of questions in IELTS speaking part two, again, because uh, it is going to ask you to describe certain steps. All right? So for example, uh, this one, uh, how to prepare a meal. And here is the example answer here. You can read this example answer. Not only this, uh, not only preparing a meal, but all but, but there are also some questions that ask the candidate to describe, for example, an activity. So uh, it can be an outdoor activity or indoor activity, or it can also be an activity uh, in the water or near the water, for example, or it can be an activity that uh, people enjoy doing at home, for example, okay? And uh, that's, um, that uh, type of question asks us to describe uh, steps on what to do first, second, next, and 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 the last uh, step of this um, activity. Okay, so one of the most uh, challenging type of question or questions that most uh, candidates uh, face. So, for example, here, uh, describe a meal that you enjoy. So you should say what that meal is, what ingredients are needed, how to make it, and give your reasons why you like it. So in here, uh, you're going to. Uh, uh, you're going to expand here or expound here how to make this uh, dish, for example. Now, another thing is that in, in all speaking part two, there are also questions that ask you to describe the sequence of events. And to do that, uh, the main vocabulary that we're going to use here are stages that introduce a stage and a story. So, for example, these and uh, give, give reasons and explanations as well. So, for example, here, these are the stages or this, these are the vocabulary that we're going to use here to describe the stages in the story. So for example, uh, we can say a couple of years ago, eventually, so the next thing you did before you went at that time, as soon as, however, and so on. And then uh, we can give reasons for each uh, story. So we can say this was because and the reason why. So let's listen to an example answer here. Yeah. And uh, 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 and you will see how this uh, how the speaker here uses this uh, sequence of uh, events. A couple of years ago, I went on holiday with a friend to Windsor. Um, the reason why we chose Windsor is that I've got an aunt who lives there. She's been living there for twenty years now, and well, I've always enjoyed traveling. I always wanted to go to the UK. At the time, my friend and I had just finished our exams at school and we were waiting to go to university. It was a summer break and she invited us to visit her, so we decided to go. Before we went, we hired a car, which we picked up when we reached the airport. I remember, it was a bright green Mini. We drove it straight to my aunt's house in Windsor and left it outside for a day or two. This was because she lived in the center of town and most places, like Windsor Castle, were easy to reach on foot. However, one morning we took a trip to a gallery. There was an art exhibition that I wanted to see, so we set off, but after half an hour, bang, we had a flat tire. Now, unfortunately, neither of us knew how to change a tire. So the next thing we did was to call the emergency services and explain the situation. Well, I speak fairly good English, but I didn't know how to say tire. And I was on the phone, so that made it worse. I just had to keep saying, we've got a problem with the wheel. And during all this, my friend was making hand signals at me, and eventually I just said, uh, flat. Well, it was amazing. As soon as I said that word, she went, oh, right, I understand. Twenty minutes later, a recovery van arrived and fixed our flat tire with no charge. 
All right, so that's an example there. So we, we, didn't, we don't need to finish the entire uh, speaking here, but that's example here of a uh, speaking part two. Yes, uh, I also speaking part two in which you're going to uh, describe a certain story of the event. So, and in that case, uh, you're going to use here stages in a story uh, in here, we can find here in the, in the uh, in the table. So for example, a couple of years ago, eventually, so the next thing you did and so on, all right? Now there's also, um, now you can have a practice here. Uh, you can have a practice here. So I'd like you to describe a situation. You remember when you had to use a foreign language to communicate to so the same the same question here. So you should say what you were doing, uh, what happened, how well you communicated in the language and explain why you remember this situation or experience. Okay, so you can have an example, or you can have a practice, all right? Um, now here's the uh, note taking. So for note taking in IELTS uh, speaking part two, and I think we have discussed this in our, our early training, all right, about IELTS speaking part two. So we have this note taking. So we do this uh, window method, and we there are four quadrants here: one, two, three, and four. And then we have to take note here. So where is that? What happened? How well did he communicate? And why does he remember? Okay, so. Uh, you can uh, check our IELTS uh, speaking part two in the earlier training, right? Your earlier sessions, uh, introduction to IELTS speaking part two, and you would know there, okay? Uh, you would know there um, how to uh, take down notes, okay? Now, here, uh, there's also, yeah, so that's for, um, uh, that's for IELTS speaking part two. So again, uh, let me repeat that in IELTS speaking part two, there are, there are questions, okay, there are questions in which uh, it is going to ask you to describe uh, a steps or process, okay? So describe steps and process, so on how to do something. So for example, how to uh, prepare a meal or how to uh, uh, prepare such outdoor activity and so on. And there's also a type of question in which it is going to ask you to describe the events in the story. And in that case, uh, you have to use here the vocabulary that uh, signals the sequence of events or the signals the stages of the story, okay? So in the next uh, training, we're going to uh, uh, study, again, IELTS uh, speaking part two, fluency and coherence, focusing focusing on uh, focusing on uh, describing events and describe and give reasons, right? So uh, in the previous uh, in the in the previous session again, so we have learned there uh, IELTS speaking part two, fluency and coherence, and uh, again uh, we have learned that there are uh, questions in IELTS speaking part two that ask us to describe uh, uh, steps and how to do something, right? And number two, there are also questions that ask us to describe the sequence of events or stages in a story of the events. Now today uh, we're going to uh, uh, we're going to study here the third and fourth, right? Uh, uh, questions or types of questions in IELTS speaking part two. So the third one is to describe events, to describe events. So, so again, this is different from uh, uh, number two and number one. Okay, so number two is uh, describe the stages in the story. Number one is describe the steps. And here number three is, is describing events. And number four is to describe and give reasons. So for number four, so that is uh, described, for example, uh, places, things, person, and, and then we have to give reasons, okay? So again, there are four, uh, main types of IELTS speaking part two. All right. Now let's let's move on to um, uh, let's move on here to uh, describing or uh, starting here describing events. That's the third one, and describing and give reasons. That's the fourth one. So for example, here in uh, describing events, right. So the question here is to describe something you would like to do in the future that would be good for your health. Okay. So you should say what you would like to do, what it would involve when you would like to do it and explain why it would be good for your health, okay? So in this case, uh, in this uh, type of question, you you are never asked to describe the steps and how to do something. You're also never asked on how uh, to describe the stages in a story or to introduce the stages in your story. So what you need to do is simply to describe such an event. Now let us uh, hear, uh, let, let us listen to the example answer here. And uh, let's uh, also take down notes here. Let's check the example answer. And yeah, let's listen to the example answer and uh, complete the notes. 
Well, I'm quite fit because I do a range of sports like running and tennis. But、um, I've always dreamed of taking part in a triathlon. I really like the idea of that.、Um, a triathlon's a multi-sport event, but rather a hard one. It basically consists of swimming, cycling, and running events, but you have to do them one after the other. You know, there are no breaks, so it would be quite a challenge. You can do various distances for each sport. There's an Olympic distance, which I wish I could do, but it would be too much for me. However, I think I'm likely to finish if I choose a shorter course. There's one that's.、Um, I think it involves a 750 meter swim, followed by 20 kilometers on the bike, and then a five kilometer run. As for when I take part in it, I'm not sure. Looking ahead, I don't expect I'll be able to tackle it until my academic year's ended. That means I'd be thinking in terms of maybe doing it in a year's time. That would be realistic because I'd need time to train and really get into shape. It's not something that I could do in a hurry.、Um, obviously, it would be a really healthy thing to do because it would force me to get even fitter than I am now. Plus, I'd have to eat well during the training period and get plenty of sleep and that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to doing a triathlon. I'd really like to do it sometime soon, and I just hope I'll be successful at it. Have you always、oh. tried to do things that are healthy? Oh yes. All right, so this is, this is the example answer here. So as you can see, the candidate didn't uh, again uh, describe the steps, all right, or nor、uh, describe the stages in a story because that is not being asked. So what is being asked here is to just simply describe the events. Okay. Now let's. There's also、uh, there are also types of questions in IELTS speaking part two. Again, this is the fourth one in which you're going to describe and give reasons. So you're going to describe here. Uh, for example, places, things,、uh, events, and people. Right, and then you're going to give your reasons. For example, here we have describe somewhere you like to shop for food. Okay, so that's for uh, uh, part two. Okay, so you should say where this place is, what this place is like, what you buy there, and explain why you like buying at this place. Okay, so here you simply have to describe. You simply have to describe the place. Okay, so where is the place? What this place look like? What you buy there and what you like buying there. So let us、uh, listen to the example here. <clears throat>、uh, let us listen to the example here and let's follow the、uh, notes. Okay,、uh, notes from the uh, uh, from the,、uh, the candidate. Okay, so here, let's listen to her answer. Now I'm going to give you a topic, and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Uh huh. Here's a paper and pencil for making notes, and here's your topic. I'd like you to talk about somewhere you go to shop for food. Well, I'm going to talk about where I shop for food. Um. Like most people, I have to go shopping for food quite frequently.、Um, I live with a couple of other women, and we're students, so we can't afford to eat in restaurants very often. We're all healthy eaters, but、um, I really like going to the local market because I like organic food, and everything you get there is fantastic. It's so fresh. So let me tell you where it is.、Um, It's in this street near my home. It's a pedestrian street. You know there are no cars. It's right in the middle of a busy district.、Um, it's opposite the station, so it's very convenient. Yeah, and what's it like? Well,、um, it's usually pretty crowded. It's quite a popular place. There is a large number of stalls that sell food. And some shops too. I've been going there for quite a while, so I know where the healthiest food is. I usually buy things like fruit and vegetables, also meat and cheese and fish. I've got a favorite stall. It's run by a little old lady. And all right, so let's not finish this example here. So as you can see in this、uh, type of question, the candidate simply describes what the store is and、uh, what food she buy. Okay. So let us have a recap. Let us have a review. Okay, 
So again, denial uh, speaking part two, uh, fluids and coherence here, uh, we have to understand again okay, that there are different four different types of questions that you that might be asked of you. First one is to uh, describe the stages uh, on how to do something. So in here you have to uh, describe the steps, first, second, third, and fourth, and final steps, a uh, final step. Then number two, uh, there are also types of questions in which uh, you're, you're going to ask to, this, to, to introduce a story um, or st stages of the story of, of, of the event. Okay, so in this case, we're going to use here um, uh, phrases or transitional phrases to introduce the uh, stages of the story. Third one is that uh, there are also types of questions in which you're going to ask to describe uh, events, right? So you don't need to uh, introduce a story, nor you have to describe the steps, right? But simply describe what that event is, okay? And lastly, um, there are also types of questions in which you are asked to describe, uh, describe and give reasons. So describe and give reasons only. For example, to describe a place where you shop for food, to describe an old item or old things you have at home, for example, or to describe, uh, to uh, to describe these uh, special. Uh, to describe, uh, for example, uh, uh, people who you look up to, for example, okay? So in this case, you simply have to uh, describe them and, the, and then give your reasons, right? So that's all for IELTS speaking part two, mastering the contents, fluency, and coherence. Until next meeting, until next training.